Welcome to the Property Profits Podcast. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your continued support. Y'all are badass. Let's get to it. It is the evening before Thanksgiving. I don't know when you're going to hear this, but also happy Thanksgiving. It's been an awesome year. So I had the opportunity to hang out at Brandon Turner's house this past weekend. It was badass. Got to mastermind with some great people from all over the country. See what they're doing, what they're not doing, what he's doing, right? Real estate is so cool because the more hands that you shake, the more money you make, the more you learn, the more you get a feel of the market. There's the people doing all sorts of stuff like him, which is amazing, to people that are just starting out. And the common consensus between everybody is real estate has been harder. It has been harder the last several months. So if you're having trouble getting deals, don't get down. There's times when things are just so easy, everything's going up and it's cyclical. Like right now, just to be honest, like it's slow for me. Like we're getting deals, but we're having a little trouble, a lot of trouble moving some. They have to be steeper and steeper. And you know, I'm realizing that it's just part of the journey, part of where we're at right now. Same thing with these other people I'm talking to on every scale. Met people from all over the country, same kind of troubles, whether they're doing a lot of deals to no deals to getting into it, whatever. This girl reaches out to me yesterday. This is why I'm telling you this. A girl reaches out to me yesterday, a woman, and she has a deal. And she's, hey, I really want to get a loan on this deal. Maybe you can lend to me on it. Maybe somebody can. Like, what do you think? Would you please look at it for me? And I'm like, sure. Right off the bat, it took me like two minutes and I'm like, this, what your numbers aren't what I think they are. Your ARV is like 30K to 40K off. And she was wanting to do a wholesale. And I want to give you the difference between ARV and market value, okay? ARV is what you fix a property up to after repair value. ARV is after repair value. Market value is what the property can sell for as is right now, as is condition. ARV is after you fix it up, paint it, whatever you gotta do. Travis doesn't need anything. Every property can be spruced up unless it's new construction. ARV is after repair value. Market value is what it can be sold at right now as is. Had to reiterate that and bring that point home. Anyways, comps were like 30 to 40K off. So our numbers were 30 to 40K off and I put it in like my calculator and when I do my numbers, she's gonna break even, probably lose money. We're not in this business to lose money. We gotta take these rose colored glasses off and you gotta look at a deal like it's a deal. I had an old mentor that used to tell me if it don't work with a pencil, it don't work. What that means is like if a property needs 50,000 in repairs, like it's not cool to only make 20,000 or to shoot to make 20. Sometimes that happens because you go over budget and stuff, the market's down and you still made a profit. Cool. But you don't shoot for 20 because what happens when all that other stuff happens? If you're going to put 50, try to at least make 50 or more. And not that you're going to hit that. Hopefully you make a hundred or shoot for two, whatever. But maybe look at stuff that way. And if I'm doing a wholesale, the minimum I want to make is like 30K. And that's if I got to borrow probably two or three hundred thousand dollars i want to make thirty thousand dollars the higher the amount that i gotta borrow the more risk i'm gonna take the more money i want to make i love wholetails i just started a freaking facebook group called wholetails it's gonna be a paid group i think we're gonna charge 500 bucks a month i'm gonna do lives in there i'm gonna do trainings i'm gonna drop contracts i'm gonna freaking help you because i do one-on-one coaching we charge a lot of money for it But I think I can help more people this way, build a community. I like community aspects. I love these groups that got communities behind them and they're all doing deals with each other. And that's what I want. So anyway, I'm building one that's called Whole Tales. Hit me up if you want in. DM me. That'd probably be the best way, like on Facebook, because I actually read those and do those myself. And yeah, make sure when you're comping these properties for Whole Tales or anything, don't take the highest comp. Do not take the highest comp. Most of the time it's an anomaly. They fix the hell up out of it and they got a good price. But you see all these other ones that all the other data is trending like in in a different direction or like 40K lower, go with those. And then think about worst case scenario. Also think about time on the market. I don't buy anything that I don't say, hey, if it's priced at this, I want to sell it in 60 days or less. That's how I look at it. I don't want to sell on the market for 90, 120, 180, like all these crazy numbers because you have holding costs. Holding costs add up. Hope y'all learned a ton. Happy Thanksgiving. Can't wait to see y'all in the next one. And until then, let's keep rocking.